The NZ2000 FMS 6.1 software update includes several new features and functionality as well as time saving and safety enhancements. In this video, we will highlight the additions that the FMS 6.1 update provides. When multiple approaches using the same primary navigation source serve a common runway, the approach name is annotated with an alphabetical suffix. These suffixes are now part of the approach identifier in the navigation database, and as a result, all available approaches may be included in the database. Also with the FMS 6.1 update, the approach enunciation is activated during suffix-based approaches. In a radar environment, ATC may provide radar vectors to the final approach course. With FMS 6.1, an Activate Vectors prompt is displayed, as long as the aircraft is within the terminal area of the destination and the final approach fixed has not been sequenced. When a vectored approach transition is activated, the FMS creates an intercept leg extending from the final approach fix. This removes any waypoints that existed in the approach prior to the final approach fix, and fly vectors to intercept is displayed as the from waypoint. Localizer Preview automatically selects the preview mode for short range navigation. It is activated when the aircraft is within 30 nautical miles from the destination airport. With augmented localizer preview installed, the FMS automatically tunes the ILS frequency into the active nav radio and sets the course pointer to the inbound course, thus reducing pilot workload. Aircraft with the FMS 6.1 software update can now retrieve circling approaches from the navigation database. Circling approach procedures, such as a VOR Charlie or RNAV GPS Delta for example, are specific for an airport. There may not be a designated runway coded since a circle to land only procedure can be conducted to any runway. The flight profile for a circling approach descends the aircraft to an MDA. The crew must manually fly the circling portion of the approach. In the event of a go-around, the missed approach procedure is enabled. The FMS provides guidance based on the shortest distance to the next fix. Depending on the aircraft's position, following FMS guidance may take the aircraft outside of the protected area of the approach, so the crew should pay close attention to the missed approach procedure while maintaining good situational awareness. Tactical Air Navigation, or TACAN, is a ground-based navigation facility that can provide for non-precision approaches. When authorized, aircraft with the FMS 6.1 update can select TACAN approach procedures. The approach procedures can be selected from the navigation database and are displayed as an option on the arrival pages. For certain installations, when the TOGA button is pushed, NAV is automatically selected and the course pointer on the HSI changes to FMS. The flight mode enunciator displays NAV armed for the lateral mode and GA for the vertical mode. This greatly aids the crew during a workload intensive go-around maneuver while also providing greater situational awareness. The custom and navigation databases can be transferred from one FMS to the other. To transfer data, each FMS must be turned on and have compatible software versions. Cross-loading databases takes less time with FMS 6.1. 
This has been an overview of the features and improvements with the FMS 6.1 update. Please refer to the Flight Management System Software Version NZ 6.1 Pilot's Guide for more information.